How powerful is that? A South African short film, The Beginning, featuring actors Tamisha Masha and Latoya Mangesi, will be screened at the Cannes Film Festival in France. The film will participate at the festival as part of the short film corner. I've got Tamisha Masha in studio now to tell us a little bit more about this. What Morning. a what a powerful trailer. Thank you, thank you. Sure. I mean, that is, <laughs> that, that, that hits at, at the heartstrings. I don't even, I haven't seen it. I don't even know what it's about. But just, yeah. I mean, just seeing that about losing a child and is at the end. Well, I suppose the thing is, you know, death is a very universal theme. And when you make a film, whether it's from South Africa or any other part of the world, you must try and make a, a film that has a universal theme, whether it's love, whether it's birth, whether it's death, everybody has to die at some point. And I think we can all relate to that. Yeah. Like losing a child, is it the end or is it the beginning? And we wanted to make a film that would resonate with as many different, I suppose, people from around the world as possible, but still keep at its core uh, a very South African, how do I say, feel, I suppose, and, and certainly um, in terms of where the film is from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, let's let's sort of look at the behind the scenes because mm. you don't just act in the movie; you're also one of the producers. Yes. So, talk to me about the development of it. How how this this all came about? Well, um, you know, when you come up with something like this, you you have to if you want to shoot it as a film. I've, I've produced a number of short films before, but this was the first one that I would definitely technically call a film because yeah. obviously it was shot with a uh, film camera. We used uh, one of the latest and greatest that is out there possibly uh, and that comes with a whole range of, of film crew as well you know um, so putting something like that together is is a way of showing any possible investors in terms of when you make the next feature film which yes. is the plan here that we're able to tell a story in a short firm format like film which is short film which is 12 minutes long um, we can get to a point where we have as they call it the three act structure beginning middle and end and we tell a full story that is emotionally impactful and technically of course of the very best quality uh, and that takes a lot of just moving things around you know you have to be quite a chess player making sure that everything is in the right place at the right time well I can imagine I mean 12 minutes to get something across people may think okay well, it's a short film, so it's, it's a lot easier, yeah. but I don't think so. It, it, the same amount of pre-production goes yeah. into it, the production time. I mean, it takes time to light, to get just the right mood of every single shot that you're getting. And obviously, after that, then there's the post-production, putting the film together, putting the sound together, because it has to be filmed. You have to have certain standards for it to be, especially uh, be able to be screened around the world as we're doing now, because, well, as you know, we're going to can with That's this film. the exciting thing. Yeah. I, I mean, this is... This is huge. Do you, when, when you actually go and you screen it at Cannes, is it something that you, um, do you enter to do that? How, how does the process work? You have to enter your film into various festivals. Um, and, and then based on the quality of your film, you get accepted for it to be screened. Um, it's, it's not as if we're going to be up for any sort of, we're not nominated for the film, so we're, okay. not, we're not going for any awards, but we're getting a chance to showcase the film um, in a festival where it's one of the biggest festivals in the whole wide world yeah. um, and any producer or actor will be proud to have a film shown at Cannes. Well it is, I mean that's a, it's opening the world to you. It, it yeah. just takes one person to see something mm, and mm, you mm. never know where from. You never know where from. I mean yeah. with us the plan was always to make the short film and at the same time uh, present at Cannes a uh, production in terms of a trailer that we are busy in the process of, of making which is a feature film. But we'd like to thank of course the NFVF for all their support and helping us get to Cannes because they're the the major South African uh, funder for this sort of thing. That's the National Film and Video Foundation, of course. Yeah. Well, it is. I mean, without that support and the yeah. money that goes into it, it's a big, it's a big yeah. deal. I want to talk more about the actual film now. So mm. I know that um, 
uh, obviously it's, it's, it's about the loss of a child, but let's talk about your character and then we can okay. talk about Latoya's character as well. It's an interesting character that I play. Um, I'm sort of playing this person who's, I, I, I guess, an angel of death, a shepherd, if you will, someone who's taking uh, Latoya's character across from life as she knows it and that period, what happens? Do we know? Between the time when I suppose the lights kind of go off in this world and the lights come on in the next. Uh, I, I would say death is, for me, very much like birth. You're just transitioning into something new that yeah. actually we don't know about until we get there. And that's really the basis of the, pro of the, of the story. So is it, is, it, is it Latoya's character that passes on or is it her child that passes on? Well, that's something that people must watch the film ah, to see. Yeah, yeah, you're keeping <laughs> us in suspense okay. here. All right, but I must say that, that Latoya's grappling, or Latoya's character rather, is grappling with what happens from here to the next, to the next phase. Is this the end? Uh, or is it the beginning? And I would say that perhaps when we're facing death, it's the end of one form in this form as we're living in a body in a physical form and entering into another form. And I think that's what the film really explores in terms of it might be the end of this form, but it's the beginning of surely another kind of form. Well, that's what I suppose we're all there to believe in and we all hope. We all hope, We hope certainly. that the lights don't just switch <laughs> off and that's it. And that's it. You but had one shot. <laughs> is that it? One shot? Come on, give me another I chance. suppose you get one shot at this <coughs> kind of, of form of existence if, if there's such you a thing. Do. But you might get other shots at other forms. Hopefully it's not coming back reincarnated as a... Uh, as a cockroach or something Exactly, like that. I suppose it, 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 it's, it's all where you believe and your beliefs lie. Yeah. Um, you, you tell me you're not actually going to cancer, you won't physically be there because there is a, a little baby on the way oh, soon. Wow. Hey? <laughs> what so, a place to announce it to the whole well, world why on not? Morning Live. We've got to do that. I mean, that is, that yes, is beautiful. We, we are expecting so a new beginning for us as well. I'm so excited. So uh, I'm going to stay here while my production partners go out there yeah. uh, and be the good, the good father. Beautiful. And, and just well, okay, on. now we, we wish you the best of luck and, and I'm, I'm so excited for you <laughs> but but let's give credit to the rest of the team and the production side because you were telling me that that beautiful piece of music was yes, also written by score. a director well i really have to give credit to the director bradley katzen he's the one who put it all together he wrote the film he directed the film <laughs> and he wrote the score uh you know all the music on the film is by bradley um bradley katzen and of course sean naidu our other production partner who really came through and made sure that we had all the pieces to put it together this is a self-funded film so you can yeah. imagine you know um a full feature length film costs millions of rands uh so this sort of thing self-funded cost hundreds of thousands of rands and yeah. we all had to buckle in there and make sure that we could raise the right kind of funding and also put in some of our own well we wish you the best of luck i really hope that we get to see it uh on south african television somewhere as soon as it's done the rounds around the world because uh, with with a lot of festivals the criteria is they have to be the first okay. to screen it and then once that's done then we can screen it anywhere we like brilliant but i can't wait for the south african audience to just see it and, and to really see that we are trying our best to make really great film in this country yeah. uh we're hoping that with greater cash injection and making sure that there's more funding we can make more films and we can show you guys uh, you know a plethora of wonderful ways of, of expressing the soul of south africa that's what really film is fantastic can't wait thank you so much for coming in to me thank you for having us good luck with the film good luck with baba and i, and I hope it's a great <laughs> success on both fronts thank you so much to misha Masha talking to us about this uh, new short film that's going to be shown at the Cannes festival and it's called the beginning and we really are hoping for great things to come out of this one. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this.